Hi friends, in this video, let's uh, talk about trim function in Power BI DAX. What is the purpose of trim function? It works similar to the SQL server, but in SQL, we have a L trim and R trim, but in Power BI, we directly have a trim function. What ideally trim function will do is, it removes a space in the left side as well, in the right side as well, and also in the middle of the words. Let us say there is a word, x y z so if you see there is no space in left side right side in the middle so then it automatically gives you the output as x y z only now there is a word a space i am giving you one two three spaces then i am writing as b i am giving you one two three spaces i am writing as c then if i use a trim function in power bi for this word i'll get a space b space c if i use a trim function in power bi it removes all the spaces between the words and keep only one space between the words let us say here if you see here in between b and c i have how many spaces one two three spaces but if you really see the output you'll get only one space in between b and c similarly a and b as well also like let us say there is a space uh, uh front of the a one two three let us say a now b c and after the spaces one two three now if you see the output you will get a b c that's it you'll get a b c let me show you practically how it is working in the power bi so let me open a power bi window so where i have some uh, uh just a sample window so i'm going to create you a measure to explain you the trim function so here I have some employee table. So I'm not going to do anything with employee table here. Just click a new measure. Just click a new measure. So in this measure, so you can type, I'm going to use as a M underscore trim. So here you can write as, so here I'm writing as trim off. So I'm going to keep a text directly rather than taking a column here. This is for, uh, trim testing see I have, I have given only one space if you see i have given only one space between here so if i go for uh, output observation so let me show you the output of it let me take a chord here let me take the m underscore trim so you may see you might not see much difference here as uh, this is a straight forward and there is no trim required really for this so let me show you so with the trim and without trim i will take a one more uh, word and i will show you how to work with that now let me create a one more measure here i will make it as a m underscore trim one let me write trim off so here i'll going to write this is uh, for uh, i'm going to add too many spaces trim testing one i'm going to make it as okay here i'm going to keep again some more space let me enter it. Now let me take a one more card here in the down. Yes, let me take this M trim one. So if you see here, you can easily identify the difference. This is starting with the uh, capital T. This is starting with the small T and testing and testing one. If you see here, so I have I kept like a more spaces in between the words. But if you really come here, you will be getting only one space in between for and trim and uh, M and T like that. Let me show you value again here in the top. So if you see here, there is too many spaces here. But when we observe the output in the uh, card, you will be getting only one space. Here in Power BI, trim is going to remove the spaces between the words as well as left and right side of the word. But if you see the same functionality in SQL Server, so you have to use L trim and R trim, and it does not remove the spaces, extra spaces between the words. So that is the advantage of the trim function in the Power BI DAX. So this is how we are going to work with a trim function in the Power BI. Let me remove. It is going to remove the, let me, let me talk about again. So it is going to remove the spaces between the words as well as left side and right side of the string. So this is how we'll work with a trim. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please write a mail to training to SQL at the rate gmail.com or you can write your question in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience.